Hey guys, check this out. Ready? Three, two, one. Huh? Huh? Oh, look at me. Look at me, guys. I became an AI. Yes, I'm an AI. Look. Look. Look at me. How cool is this? Let me jump in. Welcome back, MTV Squad. Last few videos, we discussed how Wonder Studios, Wonder Dynamic Studios was going to change the game. How it's going to be easy and seamless to create videos that have different kinds of skins that you add on top of yourself. Videos made, editing made by having characters or environments put on top of your already made video. It would be as easy as going outside, filming anything with real persons, with yourself, and then just dragging and dropping a skin of a character on top of yourself and you would have this 3D character uh, in the world that you're filming. Now, we are very lucky and grateful to Wonder Dynamics for having given us the closed beta access, as you can see here. We got it last week, but we were too busy to play around with it. Started playing around with it two days ago. And let me tell you, it's just as good as we imagined, even better. It is so seamless. It is so easy to just create something, create an epic video. It could be a video for your family, a video for yourself. It could be a full featured movie or a short movie. It could be characters for your video game. It could be literally anything you can imagine putting us in our hands to create such epic content. Now keep in mind, they just started and for a project that's just starting, it's incredibly powerful. But you can see here that they're planning to add a lot of features on top. Obviously it's going to get a lot better in time and you can already create, if you have your own ideas or your own character, you could already create your own characters within Blender, Maya and such other project as we see here. And you can import them and then wonder dynamics will enable you via ai to add those as your character and use you could film somebody else you could uh, pick a movie scene and you could just drag and drop your own skin for example and you would be playing leonardo dicaprio in his role instead of himself so as we know we can also add voiceovers now with ai and singing as we've done in our previous video which check out where we used celebrity singers so you could use singing talking anything using ai and add it on top so if you created a robot character you could very easily add that skin to yourself do that in video games as well you could animate your video game characters or your cutscenes in this way extremely seamless it's absolutely crazy how good it is i'm i'm absolutely in love with this software i cannot wait to see what else they're going to produce and i cannot wait to delve into it deeper which i'm going to try to do this weekend hopefully i'm going to be able to create a couple of minutes very cool video which i have in mind i've already written the script and of course gpt helped out but just a little bit i would also make a tutorial about this but it's so simple that it's just plug and play you don't even need a tutorial that's how simple they are. kudos to the team at thunder dynamics incredible when it comes to animation you can even do it yourself from scratch using stable diffusion along with control net and move to move we've discussed control net in previous videos check this out this is completely made with stable diffusion control net and move to move look how smooth and great that looks so it's very promising for indie developers that are going to want to make animations for their video games combine that with sam segment anything model from facebook from meta that we've seen a few videos ago where all the objects that are moving can be easily selected and then either removed from the scene completely or you could add or replace objects or these people by other people or by other objects. When you combine these two tools, it's going to be extraordinary in terms of visuals for your movies or the games you're making or an indie company. Speaking of video game, we have this company called Improbable. Rob Whitehead being the co-founder. Improbable is a metaverse company. They created a next-gen kind of technology that will enable a scene for MMOs, for example, or for any multiplayer game to have thousands of players at the same time without having a big impact on the performance. This is some seriously advanced technology that we haven't seen anything like. So far, we've been able to have about 100 people in the same place, in the same area. But these guys are going to enable us thousands of people in the same room. 
in the same place. And they've recently gotten involved with NFTs, with blockchain, and with the Yuga Labs. Yuga Labs being the company behind the Board Apes. Board Apes, the NFT project that you've definitely heard of, is making a video game. It's called The Other Side. And they've partnered with Improbable Games to create this metaverse or this MMO. And within this MMO, they're going to have thousands of users running around at the same time without impacting performance. They've done multiple demos already where they've gotten thousands of join. And you can see them here jumping around doing all sorts of stuff while they were collecting data to optimize their software and minimize the impact besides doing this and i truly believe that improbable is going to have a tremendous impact on gaming in general because of all this new technology they're adopting and as far as i know it's one of the first and the best at those things so besides that they're also incorporating ai and here we can see an example it's an agent of chat gpt to random objects obviously you can also do that with random characters and the objects will be able to self-code themselves. So they will be able to morph themselves with their own code. We can only imagine how many use cases there are going to be. I mean, even objects are going to be able to self-code themselves and morph and change based on the behavior of the player, let alone the NPCs. So the world around you is going to be redefined as you go. The NPCs are going to have their own personality. We've talked about this topic before, and we're going to show you an example here where some guy has tried this by giving an AI to one of the NPCs he called Pedo. And that NPC is able to form his own thoughts, his own sentences, react to the player naturally. Brother Gepetto, can you tell us what special animation abilities you have? I can control where I look. I can look at the lovely pond. Or I can look at the setting sun. Or I can look back at you. Is there anything specific you would like me to do? Even more impressive, the most impressive thing that I think happens here is that this NPC seems to have spatial consciousness. He's aware of the space he's in. He's aware of the sunset. He's aware of the pond. He can look at the sunset and react to it. So he's actually realizing his setting. He's conscious, sort of, of his own setting. This has really shocked me. That's the part that's shocked me the most. So we can just, with a little bit of imagination, see how far that's going to go. How they're going to be able to react to anything that the player does within the world. How they're going to see an object that moved and think about who might have moved and realize that it could be the player. So if an object moves on the table and you're trying to sneak, they're going to realize that this object moved and they're going to be able to, to determine how you move that object. I mean, this is going to give a little bit too much intelligence to the, to the to the NPCs, I think it's going to be make games a little bit too hard for us. But obviously, this all of this is going to be min max and made in a way that it's it doesn't affect our gameplay that much negative. But yeah, NPCs are almost going to get some consciousness, some sort of consciousness. It's going to be wonderful having an NPC be your teammate or your partner in a game. You'll never feel alone again. You'll feel you have your best friend. You probably want to revisit the game even after you're finished it just to see how he's doing. On the topic of sneaking, Epic is working on exactly that here in Unreal Engine. They've created this called AI Behavior Tree, which is practically going to allow your AI enemies to have a consciousness of their environment. They're going to be able to determine where things are and how they're moving based on sound and visual. So they'll be able to actually, they're not pre-programmed like they have been so far where you have a pre-programmed set of data points that they have to follow and go around and then you know they pretend like they heard something or based on what the player has done here they're actually going to hear them it's not programmed in advance they're going to have to be programmed to have ears and have eyes so it's not just like that cone that you see in games where if you fall within that cone then it gives a signal to the NPC to react. No, here they're actually going to have sight and they're actually going to be able to see things move within the scene and react to them, understand that these things move, not just be programmed to react in a certain way, but actually understand that something moved and make their own cognitive process to figure out why that thing moved and react accordingly. And the same thing with hearing. They're actually hearing what's going on and processing that data within their little AI brains and figuring out what that was and how I should react. So <laughs> there you have it. All of these things are going to flip gaming upside down on its head. And this is going to happen extremely fast. Now here they made a graph on how AI is affecting games. And I think this is really, really conservative because as you can see, they've done a linear kind of path up in terms of how much AI is going to, going to be involved in games and how much gaming companies are going to make profit from that AI. But it's actually a lot bigger, in fact, because AI is completely exponential in growth and every, it's going to pull everything else exponential. So it's not going to go in a linear 
upwards fashion. It's going to go in a straight line up. For you gamers out there, I would like to mention Ultra. Ultra is a platform for games like Steam or Epic Game Store where you can trade skins and play video games, buy, etc. Now, the cool thing about Ultra is that they will incorporate AI and they will incorporate trading skins trading skins in terms of digital collectibles so or NFTs. So you'll have that full experience of trading, potentially making money, earning skins, weapons, etc., that you can trade or resell to somebody else all within the same platform. And right now they just released, I'm going to leave a link for everything we've talked about in the description. They released yesterday and they're going to give uh, some free collectibles to people who sign up early and try it out, even with a free game, etc. So if you're into gaming, it's definitely something to dip your toes in and keep track of. And why not earn some digital collectibles that could end up costing a lot of money down the line because they're going to be the, the first and the rarest, etc. Just something I wanted to mention. And I'll catch you soon. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for visiting. We highly appreciate it. And before you go, check out these cool videos we made for you. Do leave a like for the YouTube algorithm to like us. Thank you very much. And don't be a stranger. Ta-ta!